everything. You know, the Lord is giving time for people to repent and to turn back. But still many will choose not right. to. I think, that's, I think that's really grand of him to <laughs> give people the opportunity to, uh, to, to choose not to be, to, to be tortured forever, a torture that he invented and created as an arbitrary punishment for a crime which somebody could not have known was a crime at the time it was committed. And by that I'm Actually, talking about, and by that, let me finish. Me. By that, I'm talking that. about in the Garden of Eden, you created supposedly two individuals who had no knowledge of right and wrong. Yeah. If you don't have knowledge of right and wrong, how can you possibly understand the consequences of eating the fruit until after you're given that knowledge of right and wrong? So here we have a finite right. crime that could not possibly be understood. What father of what children could possibly torture their children forever for something they could not possibly understand that was wrong. That's I submit that none of it ever happened, that it's all made up. Right. Wait a minute. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Would you worship somebody that was going to burn your child to death? Well, that is... Uh, we also believe in heaven. Right, I understand. Uh, so if somebody said, you know, there's a chance that... But if I don't... You know, if your, your kid doesn't believe in me and doesn't believe that I will burn him to death, I'm going to douse him with gasoline and put a match to him. Is that somebody you would love and worship? That, that is what the Bible says. I agree. Are you saying, can, can God, if he wants to, just say, no blood sacrifice necessary, I forgive you for that? If he wants to, but he... Then why does, doesn't he want to? Listen, his character... It is his character of holiness. I, have, I told you wait, last wait. week. His character is an ass, and that's the point. Yeah. Right. Can, can we spend a little time on this whole thing of we send ourselves to hell? Yeah. Please. That's that is okay. I'm I'm holding it's like I'm holding a gun to your head. Yeah. Telling you to give me a hundred dollars. Don't make me shoot you. Yeah. That's what it is. It's that exactly is what that. that. That's what that arrangement is. No, that is. If Matt refuses to give me a hundred dollars, he did not commit suicide. What would your pastor say will happen to me if I die without having accepted Jesus Christ? Well, I think you know that very well from well, what the Bible says. It, yeah, the, in, can you in tell the end, uh, the Lord Jesus has said that uh, He will separate, you know, the sheep from the goats. Doesn't it also essentially say that I will be tortured? Forever? It, yes, there is a lake of fire. That's correct. I don't it does say that. I, I don't call that merciful. It's why I've used the mafia boss analogy before, because it's why I asked if you thought your God created hell, because the mafia boss creates the scenario where a we can protect you from this stuff, but you got to be making payments. <laughs> and <laughs> when somebody comes along to break my thumbs for not making payments. That wasn't my choice. I mean, you're saying that my choice is to make those payments or get my ass kicked. And in your theology, my choice is to uh, accept something that my brain can't possibly accept because it's irrational and without evidence, and then go the step further of becoming worshipful and adherent to this fantasy. Well, I won't do it. It is harmful, and it is immoral, and your theology is immoral. And what you are saying about there being a literal hell and that God gets to wash his hands of it, it's all completely immoral. You have lost your own sense of dignity, self-respect, humanity, and morality. Christians will often tell me, well, who are you to judge God? And every Christian who asks me, who am I to judge God? also judges God, because you cannot judge God's good actions and choose not to judge God's bad actions. Right. That's called hypocrisy. Right. And what I'm doing well, is looking I... at and evaluating the good and the bad and making a determination. And Christians always object to that, because I'm not just focusing on the fluffy feel-good stuff.